killing the sea Killing the sea Our plastic wrappers will outnumber sea creatures by 2050 Alright, when somebody gave me this paint your own sea creature plaster set, I thought, cool, I can do a video about sea creatures and tell people things and show them the animals we probably won't have for much longer. But you can't act defeated while you're still putting up a fight. So if you want to know about these sea creatures, you got to Google it yourself for now, because I figure I might as well make this video a little more hopeful, get some sound clips from some marine biologists and mainly wanted to do a shout out and a huge well done great effort thank you keep up the fantastic work and the brilliant fight to everyone that went to the paddle out protest where like thousands of people made a line in the sea to protest against drilling for oil in the great australian bite fantastic effort guys for years we thought that the oceans were so vast and the inhabitants so infinitely numerous that nothing we could do could have an effect upon them. But now we know that was wrong. If the oceans weren't healthy, and if the oceans don't stay healthy and regain their health, human beings are doomed. That's the bottom line. The, the oceans make the Earth a habitable planet. It, it, it's just what we've done most people don't realize the magnitude of the changes that are happening. You know, I don't want to make people afraid. I want to empower them. I want to make them understand that we have to change things. We can't keep the status quo up anymore. We have to change. There's a Native American phrase, we don't inherit the earth from our ancestors. We borrow it from our grandchildren. And for me, that really strikes a chord because I want my children to be able to swim with dolphins. I want them to be able to dive on a coral reef. It's horrifying to think that plastic is being washed up on our beaches and brought back by our wildlife and we can't ignore it anymore. It's really shocking, you know, our ocean has become a, a dumping ground um, simply because people don't see what's in the ocean. I'm personally really scared for coral reefs. Um, I think that they are in a lot of trouble. These changes in our behaviour to conserve coral reefs need to happen really soon, otherwise, you know, our kids aren't going to be able to see these places. There's not going to be any coral left. There's not going to be any fish left. I think there are two possible futures for the ocean. The first is one that we've been sleepwalking towards. We know where that's heading, but there's another future that we can still choose. We are at a crossroads right now. It's not too late to choose the future we want but we need to act now and we need to act together. I hope in my lifetime that we will see the oceans improving, but it is going to mean everybody working together. 